This is going to be a long video, so I hope you have a, a couple of minutes to spare. But there are people who do not believe this Ebola outbreak is actually real. And I am going to explain to you a little bit more about that. We have been told today that the first person ever to test positive for Ebola who contracted the disease reportedly inside the U.S. has now happened as of today. It is a nurse who was treating Thomas Duncan and Dr. Frieden, the CDC director, just keeps saying protocol was breached. He's not saying how that was done. They've not told us the name of this woman. But something stuck out to Aaron and I. We were reading these stories about her. This is the one that was linked earlier on Drudge, healthcare worker at Presbyterian Hospital in Dallas, test positive for Ebola. And there was something that Aaron noticed, and it stuck out to both of us, where you have the Dallas County Judge Clay Jenkins saying, let's remember this is a real person who is going through a great ordeal. And so is that person's family. Aren't there other bits of information that are more important than them trying to reassure us that she exists? I mean, they said that this happened, right? And then you go on further down and they say, as much as we're connected to the world, it's easy to see something on television and think of it as happening over yonder, over there. But when it hits close to home, it becomes real. So this is real. She's a real person. Now that it's here, close to home, guys, it's real. Okay. And that just stuck out to me in particular because I know I've reported on this before, but the people in West Africa in these countries, they do not believe that this is real. Actually, they believe it's a government conspiracy. I have to look further than the front page of the Daily Observer for when they posted an article written by a doctor over there about how this was caused by the United States Department of Defense, who had been over in that area in those three countries, the hot zone essentially, doing biowarfare research on Ebola and other such viruses. These people think that this is not real. And let me explain to you what I mean by that. There is a huge propaganda campaign going on in these countries to assure these people that Ebola exists and this is real. What do I mean by that? Let's take a look. Everywhere I'm seeing these signs, they are all over the place. Ebola is real. Ebola is real. Prevent the spread of Ebola. Happy Independence Day. Ebola is real. I mean, all over town, they have these signs everywhere posted that Ebola is real. And on top of that, they have the workers walking around wearing shirts that say Ebola is real. All different kinds here. Ebola is real. And on top of that, I saw this in the Globe and Mail. It says that there are billboards and posters visible on every main street and major building warning that it's real and it can kill just telling them it's real because they don't believe it and how how far has it gone with that it's gone so far that they have a hit song over there right now that is the number one song called ebola is real funded by unicef they got this song here which i'm not going to play it for you because they will just pull my video off youtube but it's all auto-tuned. Ebola is real. It's, it's just go listen to it for yourself, okay? It's, it's, it's actually pretty bad, I think. But it's a whole song about how Ebola is real and you can get it from people's blood and saliva and their semen and all this stuff. And that's the auto-tuned version for the young crowd. And they even have a version for the older crowd in the style of the patriotic 1980s hit song Sweet Liberia. So they got two versions of a song called Ebola is real that are the number one video and this is of course in the atlantic which by the way is a partner site to cfr.org just so you know so ebola is real and it goes on this is not just a song and a bunch of signs and posters this is also apparently to the point now that when somebody gets a phone call over in liberia a public service phone message comes on their phone before their phone call can come through telling them Ebola is real. So you can't pick up a phone to receive a call without a little voice on the line telling you that Ebola is real. And this is over, of course, in the Voice of America, which is our propaganda arm. But they are talking about how DJs at clubs are also coming on the microphone in between songs and saying Ebola is real, it's here. I've actually watched a lot of interviews as well with, with people over there, 
everyone who is in any kind of leadership position whatsoever starts every interview over there with Ebola is real. First of all, first of all, I want to tell the general public that Ebola is real, but nobody should deny the, uh, the existence of Ebola. This is what's going on, and it's a 24-7 campaign that is just happening. Here, here are people driving around with a, a car with a loudspeaker telling people Ebola is real over the loudspeaker, okay? Because people don't believe it exists over there. And they, they interviewed one woman here. She said, I don't believe it exists because when you get sick, they say it's Ebola. When you, get, when you have cholera, they say it's Ebola. If your body temperature rises at all, they say it's Ebola. So honestly, I don't believe it exists. That's a reasonable reaction, actually. Anyway, so continuing, Ebola is real, it's real, it's real, it's real, it's so real, they just have to sing about it and have signs about it, they have to put it on their phone, it's on their radio and television, everywhere these people go, Ebola is real. Liberians are literally awash in chlorine and Ebola 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on posters, TV, the radio, the paper, it's spray painted on the buildings, they got signs everywhere, they got the song, they got the phone calls, I mean... Over here, they're telling us, right, that people are just dying in the streets, right? There's just people dying of Ebola and being left in the streets. There's all these people dying of Ebola. So if that's the case, why do they have to go to such extreme lengths to get people to believe that Ebola exists? Do you know what I'm saying? If people are literally just keeling over dying of Ebola in the streets left and right, because that's what they're reporting to us here in America. They're, they're making it sound like it's just people dropping dead of Ebola left and right everywhere. Just Ebola everywhere, right? But if that's the case, why are they having to work so hard to get people in Africa to believe it? That they, that they have a campaign, not so much, I mean... First and foremost, it's not of, of how to protect yourself from Ebola. First and foremost, it's just telling them that it's a, a thing that exists. Just think about that for a moment. It blows my mind. And here's something else that was sent to me. I'm just going to play it for you and let you make up your own mind. Sean Y put this up on his YouTube page. He's referencing this video, which was put up on the New York Times YouTube. Let's analyze a couple of these clips. Tell me what you think about that. I'll narrate. This kid in the green shirt has brought, supposedly, according to this report, he's been brought here by his parents to this JFK hospital dying of Ebola. 20-year-old Ibaga Steve Wong is sick. Oh, no. Oh, no. What do you know? His parents wait beside him. All signs point to the late stages of Ebola. See, he's saying this is the late stages of Ebola. And this guy... Yeah, that's get it, get it, get that's sick as he is. Supposedly his dad. Yeah, that will get it. He won't be allowed inside. They do a whole report with Doctors at Borders. They get back to this guy. They show him again. Now look at this guy. He's the one that's moaning on the ground and horribly sick. Now watch him. After a few hours outside... Whoa, suddenly he's moving his head pretty fast. Doesn't look nearly as sick as before. And his eyes aren't red either. I've watched some of these other New York Times videos where they talk about what these people look like in their dying throes of Ebola. They have red eyes. They're pretty easy to tell apart from the rest of the crowd. That guy's out there moving around. Now now they show him again later. He's, he's laying on the ground. They're saying people won't look at him because they think he has the virus. This guy comes out and says the hospital's full. Now watch this guy. Oh, look, now he's sitting up. And he looks, he's not nearly as sick as he looked before. He's definitely not moaning anymore. Ibaga was finally admitted. Yeah, he's just hanging out out there. And they're not being quarantined. They're not being questioned. Nothing. So I guess they just drop him off and walk away. Now, watch his dad leave the scene. Nothing, yeah, I don't. Wait, wait, wait. Look at his hand. Do you see that? Do you see what's in his hand? That's a wad of cash. So this guy's walking away now after he dropped that guy off who, no offense, he didn't seem all that sick later on in the video and he didn't look like he was in the dying throes of Ebola. He didn't have the red eyes. He didn't have the, the hemorrhagic rash anywhere. He wasn't bleeding. He didn't have any of those signs. 
I, I, I get that Ben Solomon of the New York Times said all the signs point to that, but I didn't see any of those signs just because he said it didn't make them magically appear. Now you got this guy walking away, and look at what's in his hand. Yeah, that's a wad of cash. You explain it to me. You tell me what's going on in this. You tell me what I'm supposed to take away from this when that guy was laying there moaning, didn't look sick, then suddenly later he's moving his head all around, he's sitting up. The people that have this are so weak and frail by the time they die, they can barely move their bodies. That guy did not look sick, okay? I'm just saying, if that guy's sick, I'm Mary Poppins and I just pulled a full-size light out of my purse and turned it on. This, this... You tell me. And then they got this guy with the cash. I'm not saying Ebola is a hoax. I'm not saying it's real either. I'm just saying there's a reason some people are saying it's a hoax. And whether you like it or not, you have to admit that everything that we're being told and everything that we're seeing right now requires everyone to trust our mainstream media and trust our government officials. So the question becomes, what do you believe? right? Do you believe it's real or not? And I just think it's very bizarre that they are putting so much effort into making the people of Africa believe that it's real. Because they don't. When we're being told over here that Ebola is so real that people are just dying left and right in the streets and it's just mass pandemonium of just dead people everywhere. And yet, I mean, if that were really the case, then shouldn't they believe that it's real?